All right, now some of you have been asking me, hey man, can you do a 4K 60 frames per second via your uh, NVIDIA Shield YouTube app? And I was like, sure, I can do that. But keep in mind, guys, you won't be able to see 60 frames per second. What you are going to see is just my 30 frames per second 1440p that's being recorded via this camera. The only thing I can do is I can move down the low light so you guys can get a little bit better of uh, detail. But here, let me show you that it does support uh, 4K 60 FPS. Let me go over here really quick. Let me show you. You go to quality and you will see it right there, 2160p. So it does support the uh, 4K 60 FPS. So let's go ahead and let's continue. And it looks fantastic. I mean, uh, I don't think my camera is doing it justice. This is something you got to see in person. And it looks great. The amount of detail, like right here. The only sad part is it doesn't have HDR. You know what I mean? That's, that's the one sad part. It doesn't have HDR. Uh, even though I don't have HDR, this quantum dot, and that's in, built into this TV, quantum dot technology, the co quantum dot color technology of these billions of colors, still helps this TV make it come alive and look great. Now, HDR would have made this 100 times much better. You would see much better in the distance here. You would see this smoke pop out in more detail. Uh, because of my HDR10 panel that has that white color gamut, you know. You have to guys keep in mind, you can buy all kinds of HDR TVs, but you got to get the one that has that full white color ga uh, gamut capacity, all right? That's the one you have to look for. Especially this one, Samsung KS8000, that has that 1000 peak brightness nits as well. But remember, there's no HDR here. But even without HDR, it still helps. The quantum dot colors still helps. So let's continue. Hold on. Let's click on it and let's continue. Here we go. As you can see, it looks fantastic. By the way, I'm using the same exact, the same exact, calibration that I used on Horizon Zero Dawn. I think the the one that me and John Crow that we have experienced with, I think this calibration is probably one of the best for both gaming and for both uh, this content as well. Non-HDR, even non-HDR content is still pretty good, man. And you do want to bring that sharpness down, guys, you know, because if you have the sharpness up, it's just going to make everything look more outlined. It's going to look at more, like, out of place. So you definitely want to have that sharpness at zero because you already have this detail. Look at this detail. You don't need to have any sharpness any higher. This is already being sharp as it is because of high detail fidelity, okay, 8 million pixels. So you got to keep that sharpness at zero, especially when you got a big, giant 65-inch TV like I do here. Now this is Paris, you know, you're seeing a Paris here. Uh, it looks fantastic, man. Looks great. I mean, the amount of detail that you see here, it, you can even see the shadows down at the bottom. That's how much fidelity of detail you, you see here. It's crazy. Like especially right here, here's a great example. Now this is not HDR, this is without HDR. Now imagine if HDR was present here. It would be like a gazillion times better. You know, you would see more of a detail. You would see more of uh, overshadowing here. Uh, you would see the uh, peak brightness of sun blasting through these uh, palm trees and the branches out there. I mean, you would see all of that if the HDR was implemented. But this looks fantastic on 4K 60, 4K 60 frames per second. Look this here, right? Look at the detail right here. I mean, it's like ridiculous. I mean, this is like a ridiculous amount of detail right here. Now, let, let, let me do a frame by frame. As you can see, it just looks great. 
I did a little bit of frame by frame here for you guys so you can see it. I look, look right here. Look at that detail of, of the color. This is where Quantum Dot comes in, in place. And I'm doing this without HDR, okay? It's without HDR and that Quantum Dot coloring helps. This is why I always tell people, um, OLED is great. OLED will give you those deep black levels. You'll have a nice color as well. But the one thing you're going to be missing on the OLED is that peak brightness nits. Remember, to truly have that color pop, to truly have that HDR pop, you got to have that high peak brightness. Now, when we talk about peak brightness, we're not talking about you adjusting a contrast. It's more than that. It's those LED lights emitting that nits. So you get that much more better ratio of, of uh, vividness. So the light is more natural. All of this stuff you guys can learn, read a book about it, see the difference between the two. And uh, this is quantum dot coloring that's behind this panel. The quantum dot here is a good example. The quantum dot here, it's a perfect example of that. I mean, just look at the amount of detail here that you see. The red is red, the green is green, and it, that's quantum dot coloring right here. There you go. And looks fantastic. Let me adjust my uh, tripod. There you go. Let me move it up a bit, just a little bit like that. There we go. It looks fantastic. Like, look at right here. I mean, look at that, the, the detail. This is without HDR. Now, imagine if HDR was implemented. Uh, you, you would go bananas. Like, look at right here. Look at right here. Let's do a frame by frame. There, I did a little bit frame by frame just so you guys can see it on that parrot. I mean, it looks fantastic. Looks really fantastic. Here, let me show you one more video before we end this. Uh... Now, this is from, uh, I think, Korea or Japan. One of the other. I'm not sure. It's probably Korea because LG is part of Korea. So there is there promoting their uh, 4K HDR, Ultra HD. And uh, and even here, you can see, even without me not having that HDR on, you still notice that quantum dot coloring does the job. You know, behind the panel, that quantum dot technology helps that. Makes it look much more vivid and much more natural. Also... You guys have to keep in mind, a good calibration makes this TV look great. You can't just simply have a TV, put it on, and then connect it, and turn the HDR on, and you think, oh, look, it's going to look great by itself. No, you do have to spend some time calibrating. This is why I do the calibration. There's a reason, you know, why I spend so much time calibrating. You know what I mean? So you guys can have that nice experience, just like I did with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I want you guys to have that best possible Horizon Zero Dawn experience. And if you have 4K, I urge you to go ahead and use those calibrations that me and John Crow have created. I, I highly urge you to use those calibrations. You're going to thank me later because they look great. All right, so I don't know how much of this I can show you. There you go. There you have it. We're going to go switch back to another video really quick. This is pretty much the same thing. It's just they're using red and white. They're trying to represent that uh, HDR in 4K. But the thing is, YouTube doesn't have HDR available. This is on 4K, 60 frames per second. You know, it does have that 4K, 60 frames per second ability. You guys cannot see 60 frames per second. Like when these girls are dancing, it's much more fluid and much more faster. Uh, you can check this out and see it in 4K60. But remember, you gotta have NVIDIA Shield to take the advantage of that 4K60 frames per second. And NVIDIA Shield, YouTube does take the advantage of that. The only thing I can find is HDR on YouTube. Uh, I looked everywhere, man, I can't find the HDR. Unless you guys know where I can find the HDR, I'll be more than grateful if you guys let me know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check my previous video, the overview of uh, NVIDIA Shield 5.1 update. Tomorrow I will do PlayStation VR test with PlayStation 4 Pro to see what's different.
All right, guys, take care.